Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem mecmain. Allahümme enfa'ni bimme allamteni ve allimni bimme yanfa'ni ve zidni ilmen innekel alimul hakim. Allahümme akhrijna min zulumatil vahm ve akrimna bi nuril fahm ve afta alayna bi ma'rifetil ilm ve sehhel ahlakana bil hilm. Allahümme zıbni nirmetel ikhlas li vecikel kerim bi kulli ma akul ve bi kulli ma fal. Amin ya Rabbel alemin. My topic today is about Short talk about epibluric appendicitis. What is epibluric appendices and inflammation and some examples. Epibluric appendages are small fat, as we see here, containing the cervical covering out bouching of the colon that project into peritoneal cavity. So this is fat, small fat containing outpouching of the colon. And these are the fat outpouching Cervical on the cervical surfaces of the colon, outbouching in the peritoneal cavity, as we see here, we see here in this specimen. Epibluic appendicitis represent torsion of these outbouching with subsequent inflammation and the thrombosis of the venous supply located centrally. So this is the epibluric appendicitis. It is a torsion of this outbouching with subsequent inflammation and the thrombosis of the venous supply located centrally, as we see in this example. Patient presented with a rapid onset of localized vein in the right or left flank although more chronic torsion of appendages may result in mimic or no symptoms, in minimal or no symptoms. The pain usually constant with rebound tenderness is often elicited. Patient may present with low-grade fever and leukocytosis. Epibluic appendicitis was often misdiagnosed as acute appendicitis or diverticulitis given similar clinical representation before increasing utilization of the CT scan. Imaging finding, it is appears as ovoid lesion containing fat abutting the colon with surrounding inflammatory strands. Central high attenuation focus has been described and it is thought related to thrombosed vein and we call this central, hot, central dot sign and it is not it is a helpful sign and it is if absence of this central dot sign does not exclude the diagnosis. The epibluric appendicitis can be diagnosed by ultrasound, CT scan and MRI. Here we this patient with ascites and we see the Normal epibluric appendages as a fat density outpouching of the cervical surface of the colon in this sigmoid colon. Here, this is patient with acute epibluric appendicitis of the descending colon, and then this is seen on the ultrasound. Non-compressible lesion 
of heterogeneous ecotexture were located at the maximum tenderness. And this is the corresponding CT scan of white fat mass with high attenuating uh, periphery and surrounding my strands around it. In the distal uh, descending colon. Here, another patient, another two patients with acute epiploic appendicitis near the sigmoid colon, as we see here, with inflama inflamed epiploic appendage with hyperattenuating grim. And here, this is the surrounding, uh, surrounding uh, fat stranding in another patient surrounding the hyperattenuating ovoid fat rim. Here, another two patients with acute epiblooric appendicitis, and these patients with ovoid fat lesion with hyperattenuated rim and centrally hyperattenuated due to central dot sign and also this patient has central dot sign and the ovoid fatty lesion with hyperattenuated rim and surrounding the strands fatty strands around the ovoid fat mass. Another patient, two patients with uh, epibloric appendicitis involving the descending colon. And we don't see here the hyperattenuated center and this will not exclude the diagnosis of acute epibloic appendicitis. And we see the fatty stranding here. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.